you know what? I have a new ice cream maker because summertime has hit and you know you get to that point where you don't just want a little ice cream, you have to have ice cream. So I had to have ice cream. I wanted homemade, real, rich, creamy. Mm. And because you can't have that much decadence without gilding the lily, we're gonna make chocolate sauce. All right, so right here, I've got one cup each of white sugar and brown sugar. You can use all white sugar. I actually, I usually forget to put the brown sugar in it. I just go with all white sugar, but it does make this fabulous, rich flavor. Can you hear my cat in the background? Do you see what I'm working with down here? Do you see this? <laughs> this is really my house. That's my dog. That's, that's food and shoe. <laughs> all right, so cup each, white and brown cup of water. This is one of those recipes that I throw together so often and I actually have my big kids will make it now. I've tweaked it until everything is easy easy to remember. One cup of each. Cocoa powder, white sugar, brown sugar, water. Okay, pinch of salt because salt makes everything taste more like itself so you want a little bit just to bring the flavors up. And my last ingredient which you know I forget this stuff too. <laughs> stuff. Last ingredient we're going to throw in here is a little bit of instant coffee. You can use espresso powder, you can use the uh, coffee granules, whatever the instantly dissolvable stuff is. And I'd say I've got about a tablespoon. You don't need too much and you're really, you're not going to taste the coffee in there. What you're going to have is that magic thing that happens when coffee and chocolate come together. The chocolate becomes more rich and intense. So, Come over here, take a look. Don't step on my dog. All right, now, I've got it on medium heat, and this is all we're gonna do to it. We're gonna stir it. And as it warms up, the cocoa will become incorporated and become one with the sugar and the coffee and the water. That didn't sound exciting, but you know, sugar, coffee, cocoa. Perfect. Okay, so let's let this sit here and do its pretty little thing for a bit. How do I do this? Look, it is syrup. Simmered for about, I don't know, three or four minutes. And you see this, when the bubbly, glossy thing happens, that's when you want to stop. Because then you begin to get into the realm of some kind of mutant fudge candy making and we don't want to go there. Okay, so, aren't they cute? I ordered, actually ended up ordering a bunch of those online because I use them for homemade vinegar and oil and vanilla and infusing vodka. <laughs> Syrup. <laughs> actually, I think I have a couple that also used to contain a rather high-end olive oil. So, this is all you gotta do, okay? And yes, I know I'm dripping, even with the funnel. That's how I do things. So, what we're going to do is allow this stuff to cool. Now, my brother will actually walk in and take a big fat slug out of the bottle. That's how much he likes it. Uh, with my little ones, I just, you know, I put a slug into a glass of, of milk. I mean, you've got chocolate milk. Or, if you've got ice cream, then... You have syrup ready to go for that. And it's, it's not a thick, like fudgy type of thing, unless you refrigerate it. Then it gets nice and sludgy. Sludgy, fudgy. <laughs> Sorry. But what we're gonna do with this particular batch, um, just whack it on top of some ice cream I made. So in my next video, well, the next video connected to this one, I'm gonna show you how to make the ice cream that was born to be one with this stuff. Okay? Alright. Chocolate syrup. <laughs>